Welcome students to the discussion of module number 2 in the subject PS1, the Child and Adolescent Learners and Learning Principles. So the introduction of this module will be the Filipino child is the center of the educational system, the curriculum reforms, educational policies, and government programs. So these are concentrated on ensuring the holistic development of the children. So this chapter provides you with information you need when it comes to understanding Filipino children by giving you information on one, on developmental milestone, second, the rights of the children, and third, studies conducted on Filipino children. So class, there are um, again four objectives in this module. And then at the end of this module, all students must attain these um, different objectives. Okay, so we move on to the content and the discussion of this module. So module number two covers chapter two entitled The Filipino Child and the Adolescents. So the child defined differently based on the context and the legal implications it entails. So the World Health Organization or WHO defines the child as a person 19 years or younger unless national law defines a person to be an adult at an earlier age. So this is according to WHO in the year 2013. But however, in these guidelines, when a person falls into the 10 to 19 age categories, he or she is referred to as an adolescent. But class, um, when we talk in our country, which is the Philippines, the age bracket of child um, is defined ranging around at his or her birth up to um, up to the age of 12 so from the beginning of his or her life until um, he reach the age of 12 that um, is what the concept the concept of the Philippine people for being a child but for um, adolescent class um, we refer the adolescents in our country as teenagers also. So if um, the child um, if the child attains the age of 13, so the ages 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, and 19 is considered as adolescents or what we so call the um, teenagers. If their ages are um, ends with teen from 13 to 19, so they include uh, in the age bracket of adolescents. So that is our perception as a um, Filipino people, and also it is stated in the in some book for child and adolescent. Okay, next we have generally children through developmental milestones, which refer to abilities children achieve by a certain age by a certain um, age. So the developmental milestone can involve physical, social, emotional, um, cognitive, and communication skills. So class, um, according to the UNICEF, in the month of October, year 2019, um, they stated that Filipino children are increasingly suffering from um, poor diets. So, um, Filipino children also suffer from inadequate nutrition and food system that are um, failing them. So, the state of the world's children um, revealed that one in three Filipino children under five years old are stunted. So, which means class na they are too short for their age, um, which applies um, majority of the Filipino children. No, there are some talaga or as in maraming um, stunted sa mga children dito sa ating bansa. And then, not only the stunted um, 
standard problem which um, Filipino children is facing for but also um, we we've got also 7% of children that are too thin for their height so moreover um, a Filipino adult adolescents are now overweight so there are um, some children which is too thin for their um, age and then there are some children then that uh, tends to become that tend to become overweight that is not um, applicable in their ages so um, increased vulnerability to disease due to poor health and um, seeking behavior and then incomplete immunization na then with poor hygiene and care practices causes under um, nutrition in early childhood so this is the very um the very first problem that may encounter for the filipino children no yung health um yung health nila is at risk especially if they belong to poor families and also because they are um poor and they can't um they can afford all the um, immunization that a child must get they face also incomplete immunization so that's why they have a poor hygiene and they also um, face um, different illness that may um, that may happen to the child next we also have um, the National Nutrition Council which is um, pertains to NNC so they are exhausting all efforts to address malnutrition so especially among um, children through the Philippine plan of action for nutrition 2017 to 2020 so um, in year class there are um, some projects that um, NCC or National Nutrition Council is um, bringing up for the um, nutrition nutrition um, nutrition for the children so they conduct feeding program and feeding program in different areas in um, philippines so this project started uh, during the year 2017 and then up to 2022 so this is a window of golden opportunity wherein um, the K is health, nutrition, early education, and related services. So, um, it should be delivered to ensure optimum physical and mental development of a child. And then class, um, we also have developmental milestones of children from infancy to adolescence. So, the developmental milestone shows that as children become more aware of their surroundings, they are able to better explore and manipulate the things around them. So it could also be um, noted how the child's social circle expands from the moment the child realizes that his or her parents are not an extension of his or her body up to the time that friendships and interpersonal attraction occurs. Um, so class, um, in the developmental milestone of children from infancy to adolescence, um, I have um, I have included na the table in your um, module for the developmental um, milestones um, of children from infancy to adolescence. So in that table, it shows the physical development, fine motor development, language development, and cognitive development, and lastly, the social development. So um, you can see their um, growing period in every, in every um, table of development. It shows in your um, module. So it begins from 1 to 6 months and then ends up to 13 to 16 years. So it clearly state doon sa table po class that the cover lang that the cover of the table is um, from child to adolescence. 
Next, we have the current state of the Filipino children. So, according to the Philippine Statistic Authority, or the PSA, formerly the um, NSO. So, as of um, 2018, there are um, 32,000,000 155,793 Filipinos among the 0 to 14 age group. So, based on the statistics um, released by the PSA on July 2019, um, it showed that Filipino children make up 31.8% um, of the total population of the Philippines. So, class, no, as you can see naman, as we can see, there are a lot of children in our country. So, they cover 31.8% um, for the total um, population in the Philippines. So, kung titignan natin, class, madami na rin, madami na rin yung 31.8% na covers ng um, mga children in our country. Next, in terms of education, the PSA had identified a rating of 96.5% for the simple literacy rate or people who can read and write in the Philippines. So, while um, we have 90.3% are functionally literate or those who acquired the appropriate verbal, cognitive, and computational skills to accomplish practical ends in culturally specific settings. So, those um, percentage regarding in the um, education, in terms of education, is um, literally high. No, mataas na yung 96.5% um, natin and then we have also 90.3%. Although, there are some um, children who encountered um, who encountered um, not going to school. No? Parang they cannot afford to go to school because, because they belong to poor family. But um, in some cases, even um, they cannot go to school, when they grow older, they tend to learn what is, um, they tend to learn from the surroundings they belong or from the experiences they will gain when they uh, grow older. So, aside from um, not going to school, they can, um, they, they cannot literally know how to read and write, but as, um, but as the years um, goes by, when they reach their um, middle ages or when they reach the adolescence period, they tend to learn from their experiences in their life. So, in the year um, 2018, the Department of Education identified um, 1,737,313 in enrollees for kindergarten and then we also have 11,151,040 in enrollees for public elementary schools and we also have 6,010,937 in enrollees for public secondary schools. So, as you can see, class, um, there are a lot of children pa rin that go to school even though um, their parents cannot afford the tuition. There are, some, there are many public schools here in our country that, um, that um, different parents, I mean that parents will choose if they want their children to be enrolled in private or in um, public schools but I'm um, remind you reminder class there is nothing so ano, what do you call this there is um, there is nothing compared to the education of the children that they can um, get as they grow older so parents of course must be reminded that they should send their um their children in schools nearby them because there are no um reason or there must not or i mean there will be no reason 
for a child not to go to school. The number emphasized the need for more teachers in the Philippines to address the growing needs of the Filipino children. So as a future teacher, you hold the key to ensure that most children will be functionally literate. So each um, developmental period is coupled with special interests related to the child's advancing cognition, physical agility, and social circles. So class, um, as a future teacher, it is not only the mind of the children that we are molding. So, um, on who will they become in the future, but also we are helping them to achieve their dreams. Although we cannot hold in our hands all of their dreams, we still believe that they um, can achieve it as they grow older. So we can um, we teach, we guide, and we inspire students to become a better version of their selves. So it is true by learning. Next, we move on to learning opportunities can be centered on what we can expect the child can do given his or her age. So as a teacher, you can experiment on exploring activities that children from various ages or multi age um, activities can participate in. So this will um, pave the way for younger to see what other children can do. So in every children, we, we or you may encounter in your class, give them the learning opportunities class that they, that they deserve. So learning is open for all the students that um, for all the students you, you may encounter in your future classes, but um, it, is, it, does, it doesn't define their learning from, from his or her or from their ages. There are some or there are various ages or yes, there are, there are various ages you will be encountering in the future, but prepare for every, every learning activities that they may um, they may attend to there are a lot of activities class that you can um, introduce to the children varying his or his or her ages so class um, in this um, last topic it is also related in the current state of the, of the Filipino children so what really is the span of the children or in the Filipino children nowadays. So according to humanium.org, the state of the children in the Philippines have these main problems. So number one problem that the Filipino children in, may encounter in their lives is poverty. So poor families frequently suffer from hunger or malnutrition from which follow numerous health problems. So particularly among children who are physically more vulnerable than adults. So this is the very first problem of the Filipino children that they may encounter when they born, especially if they belong to poor families. They cannot um, the parents cannot afford sending their children in school and also give it, giving them the right food for them to take the nutrition that the children may have. So, for the poverty, it is the very first um, problem that, that children may encounter. So, it does affect their mental mental health, physical health, and also their social well-being. Next, number two will be health. So, childbirth is risky both for the infant and for the mother. So, access to the health care remains difficult in the country, in the country's more remote regions. So, and of course, it is in these areas that Undernourishments and resulting problems are the most 
um, virulent. And then finally, no one takes a responsibility for the children who suffers from mental health problems. So, number two problem that the Filipino children may encounter will be the health. So, it does um, affect talaga if they belong to the, to the poor family. So, they cannot, um, they cannot afford to go to the hospital to have their um, checkups, to have their monthly checkups. So, children tend to have a lot of illnesses because um, they cannot um, they cannot do or they cannot um, they can parents cannot send their children in the hospital if they have illnesses so the main problem for this one is for being um, poor because they cannot afford all the expenses in the hospital once they um, send their children there so the money they will go the money that will go to the bill of the hospital many parents will tend to think or will um, think that as that instead of paying bills in the hospital they must um, use first the money for the food for the food that um, their children will be taking in so next we have um, number three we have the child labor so more than 10% um, of the Filipino children are compelled to work as as to support the needs of the family of their family so child labor um also class in our country is very um alarming because there are child talaga that they tend to work at their very young age because they need to support their family because their parents maybe their parents cannot do um work or the parents work is not enough for all the family to survive so child or yung um, eldest child of the family will um, go or will undergo child labor because he or she wants to help his or her parents to feed his or her um, sister and brothers and also um, if they belong, yun na, if they belong to the poorest family in their um, area or in their region, child, the children are um, expect, I mean, children are expected to do work at the very, at the, at their early age. Next, we also have child soldiers. So, in the Philippines, among 20 countries in which children are often de deployed as soldiers in armed conflicts, so certain armed groups have recently stated that they will no longer use children in this capacity. However, the total absence of child soldiers is far from being verified. So, class in uh, here, so sa child soldiers, not all the child um is experiencing this child soldiers i believe this child um soldiers also i mean entails in the different i mean yung tinatawag natin mga npa um they tend to have the child um child soldiers because of their organization pala because of the organization they belong if they believe that child can um, go to war, can fight, or yes, can fight the right of their organization, they are making um, child soldiers. But not in but not in all the regions that we have these um, child soldiers. Ito ay ang tawag na ito. Um, sa child soldiers. Um. Ano ba yung right term doon? 
um, it pertains it pertains only to the um, rural areas in our countries like for example doon sa mga taong nasa bundok yung um, different um, tribes that they belong so if they believe that the child um, can um, can can be a soldier for for the children to fight for the right of their tribes or for the right of their organization they are making them um, child soldiers so this is not um, necessary pero plus kasi mga bata pa lang sila they cannot or oh yes they cannot um they they are not the ones sana to um, fight for their elders or for their organization but if their um yun nga if the tribe or the organization believes that children can so they are making child soldiers next we also have child marriage so 14 percent of young women in the philippines get married before the age of um, 18 so one um, prepares them very early in life for their future um, role as a wife so however this um, understand what such a marriage entails so i believe in child marriage it has something to do with the um, religion so the religion of the child right so for example in muslims so in muslims we um we tend to get um, some informations that children can get married at the early age. So, in Muslims kasi, di ba, um, kasama ito sa kanilang paniniwala. So, if um, it entails with the religion of the child or in the um, in the way i mean in the ano tawag na doon it entails in the religion or in the tribe yun in the tribe that they are um that they belong to because there are also some tribes that they that the children or specifically the female children undergo, undergo um child marriage not only for the religion but also for the tribe they belong to so sometimes the very main reason for the child to get um marriage in early age is for the um for the offering of the um of the male child because when they marry a female um, child they tend to give offer to the parents so that is um, one of the reason why they are having this rituals no, we say rituals na mga anak kasi sa muslim talagang ginagawa nila ito and um, they also have they also have the same um situation then if children can marry um different um female child no i mean yung pwede silang magpakasal ng kahit um kahit ilan yung gustuhin nila as long as they can um they can support their family so it also inclines in the um child marriage Next, we also have violence. So, violence violence against children. So, children are equally the victims of sexual abuse in certain families. So, these are serious crimes and all too often, they are not condemned. Nor does the justice system adequately protect children from threats and intimidation on the part of criminals. So, violence against children... This is also one of the Filipino child of the Filipino children that may um, encounter 
the violence against children. No, children nowadays are being abused. Hindi lang naman sa Pilipino, but there are some countries that they tend to abuse children then. Even if they, even if the child, even if the children is on their own. I mean, sarili po nilang in anak is um, naga na abuse. So there are some cases which um, falls on cyber crimes. They use childrens for um, ano nang tawag doon? Um, they use their children for some sexual abuse using um, technologies. So they they kept on sending um, pictures of the children that is nude. And then afterwards, their um, their customers will pay them, and then they use their children to have, I mean, to yes, to have their um money in their hands. Parang instead of the parents to be working for sana para sa children, nagiging baliktad. Children tend to work for their um, parents. Even kahit na babies pa, hindi, na, hindi niya alam na na-abuse na pala yung kanyang rights. Because there are some parents that even their, even their baby children, they, um, they are abusing it. I mean, hindi pa, they are abusing um, the babies. They also... Um, they also tend to do some um, I mean plus and um, they they are there are some parents then that do illegal um adaptation so they sell their babies in um in a considerate amount and then afterwards um, magkakaroon na ng um, problem doon if um, the papers are also illegal. So that, that, um, so that is some of the um, problems or some of the crimes that may, um, that may violate, vi I'm violent, that may violate, um, That may violate the um, right of the children. <coughs> so next we'll have the right to an identity. So 17% of births are not officially registered in the Philippines. So not all the children are able to benefit from these improvements in the most of mus Muslims and indigenous um, children is still lack an official identity. So, in this um, right to an identity, 17% lang naman ang class ang sa buong Pilipinas ang hindi, I mean, I'm unregistered children. So, they belong to um, Muslims and then um, indigenous children. So, parents cannot because of their parents that lacks information then regarding registering yung mga anak nila sa um, PSA or in their municipality where they give birth. So, there are some children that has no identity. I mean, official identity because they are um, unregistered. So, we can do class naman late registration if you're I mean, yes, if you or if their parents cannot um, register on time their children, there are, I mean, they, yes, there are process called um, late registration. So, okay, that will be the seven problems that, they, that a Filipino children may encounter. So, again, number one will be poverty. 2 will be health, 3 will be child labor, 4, will, four goes to child soldiers, 5 child marriage, 6 violence against children, and then 7 will go to right to an identity. 
So class, um, the Philippines still has a long way to go when it comes to ensuring adequate um, health care and also quality education and a bright future So for the Filipino children. The key to giving Filipino um, children the best possible start in life is to educate oneself about their rights. No? Not only educate them on how to live, on how to learn, on how to read, on how to write, but also eh, we also um, educate children regarding their rights. So parents, um, guardians, and all adults should be um, vigilant in protecting and advocating for the rights of the children no? we adults must know what is the right also of the children for them i'm i mean for us to teach them in whatever rights they may have in this country not us na adult will be um not i mean not for the parents not for the adults or not for the guardians to to um, neglect this um, children's right. Okay, so um, let's continue to be a great example to kids and be conscious of our actions in making the Philippines our country a safe environment for them to take care and pass on to the future generations. No? So, remember the quotation class that in um, Kabataan, Pag-asa ng Bayan. So, we must know how to take care in those children because they may be the future of this country. So, as what like Miss um, Catriona Gray answered in her last um, question during the Miss Universe 2018, um, we should always taught ourselves to look the beauty in every situation that we may have. We should always look in the beauty in the faces of the children and to be grateful. And if we can teach our people to be grateful, we can have an amazing world where negativity cannot grow and foster and children will have a smile on their faces. So, um, I also believe in the answer of Miss Catriona Gray, our Miss Universe 2018. We must believe in our children, in our children, for them to believe in themselves also. We guide, so we teach, and we help them to achieve every dreams that they may have as they um, grow older so children as well is important in this um, philippine system that we have according to psa they cover 31.8 percent of the population so as much as that percentage um, covers the entire population we also um, we must also take care for that um, percentage in our population for them to have a better and a lighter future. So again class, thank you for listening. Have a great day ahead. So let me um, end with this two quotation. The best way to make the children good is to make them happy. It is from um, Oscar Wilde. The second one, children are human to whom respect is due, superior to us by reason of their innocence and of the greater possibilities of their future. So it is according to Maria Montessori. So again class, thank you for listening. Have a great day ahead.